Between February 11th and 14th, the Mobile World Congress took place at the Fira in Barcelona. With just about 55,000 visitors, the conference attracted about the same number of attendees as last year, when it was still called 3GSM World Congress. More than 1,300 exhibitors showcased their products, services and solutions related to mobile communications on 29,000 square meters of floor space. The IBM booth was located in hall number one. Our overall theme was stop talking, start doing. During the four days in Barcelona, we had the great opportunity to present our breakthrough network equipment provider study to many clients, press and analysts. Mobile World Congress is one of the most important events for the network equipment providers. So most of the leading companies had a significant presence at the show to unveil their latest solutions for the world of mobile communications. Our study analyzes the company strategies, their financial performance and key trends and recommendations of the NEP ecosystem. As part of our comprehensive research effort, we had the unique opportunity to talk to most of the leading companies in that industry. The core theme of our NEP point of view is that consolidation amongst key players will continue. Our research shows that the number of players has increased since the mid of the 19th century all the way to the vertex of the internet hype, and recently the number has come down significantly. Just during Mobile World, speculations about a possible joint venture between Nortel's and Motorola's network business came up. The incumbent players are increasingly challenged by rapidly growing competitors with a low-cost heritage that put up major pressure on prices and margins. And as operators are facing eroding revenues in the traditional business, they are building up major expectations towards the network equipment providers in terms of more innovative solutions at even lower price points. According to our research, this increase in competition and price pressure has resulted in a reduction of cross operating and net margins since 2004 for most of the NEPs. The major mobile device makers also presented their latest gadgets to the public. Besides the network solutions, devices are another critical element of the mobile ecosystem. Devices shown in Barcelona are increasingly richer in features like mobile navigation, live TV, music downloads or gaming. The future of the NEPs is highly dependent on how users are adopting those new features. If users spend more with the operators on these services, the operators in turn will be able to maintain or even increase their infrastructure investments with the NEPs. If operators fail in converting this opportunity, then this may have a negative impact on their capital expenditures. While it appears that there are strong reasons for the consolidation amongst NEPs to continue, we also believe it is a unique opportunity for such companies that can align themselves in the best way to a challenging market. However, this will require NEPs commitment to innovation and solutions in business models and in the way how they collaborate with external partners to complement their own capabilities and to deliver end-to-end -end solutions. If you would like to learn more about our network equipment provider study titled And Then There Were Few, please visit our website at ibm.com slash iibv or send us an email to iibv at us.ibm.com. We would be happy to present the detailed findings of our study in a meeting with you. Hope to see you soon or ladies at next year's Mobile World Congress. Goodbye.